everyone. Yes, we are staring at my server again. Now, there's an age-old question ever since anyone started using the Supermicro 846 chassis for their home server, whether it be FreeNAS or Unraid or Open Media Vault, pick your poison, whichever. The backplane on this is usually a BPN SAS2 EL1 backplane. And what this is, is a 24 SAS or SATA drive backplane with an expander built into it. So here's my HBA card down here on the bottom. I have two cables coming on up to it. And each one has four lanes. Now here comes the age old question. Connecting one, of course, works. Connecting a second one, does this backplane actually support eight lanes coming through or dual linking? Can you get better throughput by connecting eight or does it do absolutely nothing for it? That's what we're going to answer today. Now on my server, I have a total of 12 10 terabyte hard drives on the array. Two for parity and the rest for data. This is about the threshold of throughput where you actually start seeing a difference between using four SAS lanes and eight SAS lanes. So I couldn't do this test earlier until I actually got up to this amount of hard drives. Below it, you don't saturate four SAS lanes. So what we're gonna do uh, is go to main, bring it down here, and we're gonna start a parity check. It's going to spin up everything, and as soon as we start getting up like 200 megabytes a second, and it gets started, we're going to switch on over to net data so we can actually see how much disk activity is going on throughout the whole case. Come on, there you go, 200 megabytes per drive, and if I can pan on over here and lift up a little bit, you can see them all accessing like crazy. So let's go back on over here and go to net data. And we can see, we have a nice, fairly linear curve right now, and we're running around 2.14 to about 2.2 gigabytes per second throughput total through those drives. Now, what we're gonna do, come on over and go down a little bit. I'm gonna disconnect one of those cables right now while we're watching. So bear with me here, and let me get underneath here if I don't knock into the camera too much. And I will disconnect it while we're doing this. There we go. There's a SAS cable off. So now we only have four ports going to this backplane. We lost four ports. Now, let's come back on over, pan back up a little bit more. And if we look, we just dipped and plateaued on down. We're at 2.06, and I touched the screen, so now I got freaking reloaded. Because <laughs> touch screen's weird like that. Give me a second. Net data. Scroll back down. There we go. And you can see it's very flat now, and we're stuck at 2 gigs a second. That's the limit. So let's plug it back in and watch it kick back up again. So here's my cable. go give it a few seconds there we go now it's picking it back up again and you see we're going back up above here now granted it's only 200 oh we hit two 2.3 gigabytes a second there for a second for a peak but we're only seeing a 200 megabyte difference the reason is these are spinning rust i barely hit the limit of where this is actually going to make an effect so as i add more drives to this array it will get more and more and it will use the bandwidth that it needs so so this is definitive proof that the bpn sas2 el1 backplane does in fact support dual linking and will use all eight sas lanes if given to it so thanks everyone for watching this here's your answer pass this around Please share it in all the forums so this way people will be able to reference this and this question can be put to bed. Thumbs up if you liked the video and I'll see you next time.